guys, I'm Annie Choi and I'm a graphic designer at Tommy Hilfiger. I've been working as a graphic designer for seven years and recently I joined Tommy last year. I'm responsible for creating visuals for anything print or digital. For print, it could be something small like the inserts you see in packaging or it could be something huge like billboards you see in Times Square. For digital, it'll be anything related to our online presence. So we'll be designing for Tommy.com. We have our own app, the Tommy Now Snap app. We design for all of our social platforms as well as digital media. I also work with the creative director and the art director to create concepts for our global photo shoots, which is one of my favorite projects at Tommy. There really is no typical day. On some days, I'll be going to the office, just looking at my things to do, spending the whole day just designing, going to meetings, preparing for presentations. Other days, I'll be on set with the creative director and the art director, and I would meet so many different people, photographers, hair, makeup, the models, and I would work with everyone there to make sure that whatever we're shooting is aligned with the concept that was approved, and to make sure that everything looks good in layout and marketing is happy and other teams are happy with what we're going to produce. One of the best things about my job is that I get to work on so many different types of projects and when you create something and see it go live, like in the store or online, you look at it and you're just like, whoa, I designed that. Sometimes you spend a lot of time creating different options and concepts for your design and usually there is one design that you really like and that doesn't get chosen but that's the one you spend the most time on. I think that part would be my least favorite. I've always had a deep interest in fashion and art. When I was younger, I always carried around a sketchbook with me anywhere I went and I would draw non-stop. When I got a little older, I started to have a bigger interest in fashion. There were days when I went to the bookstore and just had these huge stacks of magazines. I would just spend the whole day looking through those magazines, drawing the little outfits that you see in the advertisements. When it came around the time to pick a college, I knew I liked drawing and I knew I liked fashion. I loved, I loved seeing the layouts in the magazines, so I decided to go to school for communications design. I went to college, learned all the design fundamentals, program theories, and I knew that it was very important for me to go into an internship in order for me to prepare to get a job after I graduate. My very first graphic design internship was at opening ceremony, and that experience really showed me what life would be like as a graphic designer. When I first started working there, I thought that it was enough to create something that just looked really cool or visually striking. But later, as I did more projects, I realized that when you're designing, everything you do has a purpose. There is going to be a specific color you use or a specific type lockup you use, and this all adds to the entire brand. I think the most important ability you should have is the ability to learn. Things have changed so much since I first started, especially because of technology. The projects that I'm working on right now, as well as the programs that I'm working with, they're completely different than what I used to use when I first started my career. I still do use the traditional design software like Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign, but I spend most of my time now using Sketch, even the projects that I work on right now, I'd say 90% is digital focused and 10% is print. But when I first started, it was almost all print and digital was kind of like a second thought. In the future, our projects are gonna change, our interfaces are gonna change. And of course the design software is gonna change with it. So I think it's very important to know how to learn things really fast and efficiently. It's also very important to do your own projects because you have free reign over creativity and you can design what you want. Sometimes you can use these projects to get other jobs. One day I was drawing something just with like a marker 
in my sketchbook and I spent the whole day just working on this specific illustration. Afterwards, I posted it on Instagram and my friend was like, oh, like this is so cool. I know someone who needs like an illustrator that can do this. Are you interested? And I was like, yeah. It turns out the person that they knew was this TV personality and I ended up creating the logo for their brand and that was amazing. So I highly encourage that you guys do your own projects and post it so that people can see it. I think it is very helpful to go to a design school. I learned so much from the professors and even my colleagues. After you graduate, these people are your contacts and you could contact them for any advice or any availability for work. I've seen overall though, it's a, a very good resource. Talented people that didn't go to design school and in those cases, I find that those people are very hardworking and they go out of their way to learn more. I think the really great thing about design is that you can work for any type of industry. As long as you know your design software and you have a strong foundation in design, you can take what you know and apply it to any type of brand. In terms of advancement, if you're working for a brand, ultimately you would want to become the creative director. You can also start your own brand or start your own design agency and work for the clients that you want. There really are endless possibilities. Surprisingly, a lot hasn't changed for my job other than the fact that I can't go to the office and I can't go on a photo shoot. All you really need is your laptop, your design software and Wi-Fi and you can do your job. I hope I was able to give you guys a little insight on what it's like to be a graphic designer, and I wish you the very best in finding your career path. Thank you.